In this video, we're going to go through Big IQ doing a software upgrade on a number of managed Big IPs. Uh, so to access this functionality in Big IQ, you go to the Devices tab, navigate to Software Management and Software Installations, select Manage Device Install, select which software image you want to install. This could be a hotfix, an engineering hotfix, any form of ISO that can come from, from F5 and you can load on Big IQ and Big IQ will push it out to the Big IPs for install if it's required there. You give this upgrade task a name and then we have a number of options underneath of you know, what do you wanna do as part of this upgrade exercise. The pre and post installation assessment is where Big IQ takes a snapshot of uh, information of what's installed on the Big IP before the upgrade and takes the same snapshot after and does a comparison and lets you know uh, what things are different and we'll see that later in the video. You can also choose to perform a backup and uh, traditional big IP backup options here. You've got the choice to do a backup before, a backup after, or both. Do you want to include the private keys? Do you want to encrypt the backup? Select those here. The next option is around uh, you know, pausing after the software image has been copied to the devices. This option is grayed out if you have the pre and post assessment checked. The next option is around pausing for reboot confirmation. And finally, the choice of whether you want to install the devices one by one or whether you want to install them in parallel. Uh, now we'll select our devices that we want to upgrade. You can choose one or more devices here. And then once you've chosen your devices, you need to select an existing target volume or select uh, a target volume, where to create a target volume to install into. Now, once you click the run button, you can kick off this job and Big IQ is going to step through the process of copying the software image out, validating that the image is good uh, and then work its way through the options that you've selected. The next step will be do, to do the uh, backup of the devices if you've selected that. And uh, Big IQ will take this backup and store it with its normal uh, backups in case you need it after the upgrade. The next thing that comes is the pre-assessment. Again, if you've selected that, click the run the pre-assessment button and then you have a selection of the things that you want to compare before and after. Uh, and once you select all or, or some of those, it runs that quick assessment and stores it for comparison later. Uh, now we're ready to actually start the installation on the big IPs and uh, click the continue button to start installing the software image. And it tests the volume on the big IP, does the install, and then uh, moves along through the process here. Uh, now it's paused waiting for reboot. If you've selected the reboot confirmation pause, and when you click continue here, it's going to go out and reboot those uh, devices and wait for them to come back up. Now, after those devices have been rebooted and they've come back up, and uh, now we have the option of running the post assessment. I'll click the run the post assessment on the first device. And then I can click the compare assessments to see uh, that there are no differences between uh, the status of these items, the, the number of items and the status of them from before and after the upgrade. Click through and review each one of those. If there were changes, they would be highlighted here. Now I'll run the post assessment on the second device and compare the assessments. Uh, and here you can see that for a number of the items, they are noted as changes detected, and you can see what that looks like. Um, now, it appears from this post assessment that this box isn't, wasn't completely up at the time that I ran the post assessment. Continue to review a little bit. Then I can wait, wait a little bit, rerun that post assessment, and uh, compare the assessments again and see that now that the device is fully up, the pre-assessment and post-assessment are unchanged for this box. And once I'm satisfied with my pre and post-assessments and, and the upgrade, I can mark this upgrade job as finished.